Maxine No Warthog Princess and welcome to another Cinda B haul. This one comes from the most recent online outlet sale and I grabbed a few items to fill in some gaps from my collection in general. The first item I got, this is the Zip Around Wallet in Heather Gray. Um, I had passed on this initially because I was just checking out the brand um, first and second and third round. I've done it a few times now. Um, but I didn't need another wallet. But this I figured, after looking at it again, that it maybe could be not just a wallet, but also like an organizational piece inside a purse or other bag. And I really do have a Heather Gray thing. So I think that regardless, this would be a great addition to my collection. And now that I have it, I do agree with myself. That was a great assessment. So I'm really glad I grabbed this. Um, but what it is, is it has this external zipper. So there's no gusset on it or anything, but because of the size of the pocket, it's accessible. It doesn't go quite all the way down. It goes to about right there. That's fine. Plenty big for coins or other little things you want to put in it. And it is quilted. It has a nice zip around opening all the way around and opens up very nicely. So it doesn't quite lay flat, but even though it doesn't have gussets, it does stand, I mean, not stand alone, but yeah, so you can get into it and really get into the side stuff, which I think is great. On one side, it has big slip, actually both sides is the same, so big slips, and then in front of each, there's two here and two here for card slots, and then you'll actually have some space in the middle, because if you look at the thickness of that, and it has some bulgeability depending on how you pack it. You could really use this for different things. And if you're not using all the pockets on the side, that opens up the middle to put other things like a tech pouch, a cord organizer, or just all of your cards and things or whatever. So lots of options there um, for that. And this material um, is sort of, uh, it's more coarse than like the Lug Heather Gray is a very smooth fabric feel. This has a fabric feel, but it's a little more coarse, almost feels more like a canvas feel to it, but I think it's very wipeable as well. And Cinta B, if I didn't already say, is in fact made in the USA. So that is great, I do love that. And their tags, they have this like metallic embroidery on them. It says Cinta B, and then on the back, it has actually an American flag and it says made in the USA. Yay, made in the USA. All right, so other things I got. This little pouch is the Happy. I have a couple of them now. Um, this tag is the same as you just saw, except it's white instead of black, but it still has the silver stuff on there. Um, this is the Happy, the pattern is Tropicalia, so red, white, and blue. And I'm really happy with pattern placement. It almost is a mirror image of itself, not quite, but I got all three of the main colors, you know, the greens, the blues, and the reds, and all the whites in between. And so I'm really happy with it. Anyway, this is just a straight pouch. It's a nylon exterior and I'm kind of almost like a lighten up, more robust interior with just a solid navy color. But these pouches are just great for a lot of things. I have a bunch of Tropicalia stuff now. I'll put some of the hauls here from the past. Um, but I've been using this particular pattern um, for my arts and crafts organization. I think it will be great for other things but that's what I've been using it for for now. So I got a couple other pieces to work on that. Here's the next one. This is the pencil and brush case. It's a lot like the older style Vera ones that are the same shape and approximate size, but this one is nylon. Again, this is Tropicalia pattern. So you can see the different colors and flowers in the pattern. And then inside, once again, is that a little bit more robust nylon. So very wipeable. But it's not waterproof, and you know, if you had some spills in there, you know, with pens leakage, it's dark, so it probably wouldn't even notice. But anyway, so this is great. The zippers, the hardware is all very smooth. There you go. And the last item I bought, this is the Vertical Cosmetic. And it, it's, I don't want to say it's an awkward size, it's not. It's thin, and when you fill it up, though, you could really bulk it out because there you go, it has that couple inches of base space, but because of the way it's designed, it could also bulk out some as well if you filled it up. Um, so I kind of like that it has that capability, although, you know, if you could keep it relatively trim, it would great lay down in your suitcase or whatnot. Because it is sort of tall, not sort of, it's quite tall, you can put 
full size shampoo and conditioner and lotion and things inside of it. And because it's intended to be vertical, once you have things in there, it actually will stand on its own. It has nice high gussets. It zips all the way down the side. So, you know, like I, I don't tend to like vertical stacking of things, but things for tall things, that actually makes a lot of sense. So there you go. Also has internal organization with this big zipper pocket across the bottom. And then it has on above that two clear pockets that are slips. Opposite side, you have two big slips on the bottom and they go all the way to the bottom. So, like I said, there's a lot of organization here. And I thought if I wanted to put like arts and crafts stuff in here, and then I could even stack these vertically inside of it, you know, with other sub organization pieces, I just think that would work really well. And then when I want to go off to my friend's house to do crafts for the day, I don't have to take everything. I could put a project or two in here and just take this and have it as a grab and go project bag, if nothing else. But I think this is a great addition, no matter which way I choose to use it. Um, I think it's going to be nice. And there you go. And once again, this fabric right here is that more robust. It's not like the slicky nylon like the rest of this, which this one has like quilting coming through the fabric. So I need to kind of trim that down. Okay. So that's all I got from the haul, but I thought this was really nice. Okay, so this is in a sealed bag. I have not opened it yet, but it's a thank you thing from Cinda B. So let's see what we got here. Okay, we've got a mask, a pleated mask, and this one does have a bendable nose piece. It feels like a very nice, soft, it's like cotton, but it almost has like a slicky cotton feel to it. But it does say send a bee on this pattern right here in the in the pattern there. Anyway, um, so it goes this way because that's the nose piece. And a nice, comfortable couple layers of fabric in there and very comfortable actually. Fits nicely. So a very lovely thought to send a free mask along with my order. Now that we aren't needing them as much, hopefully soon. And then Cinda B, it doesn't say what it is, interestingly enough. It just says Cinda B. Um, Benzochromium chloride antiseptic hand sanitizer. Shh. Yeah, okay, so hand sanitizer. It does not say there's alcohol in here but it says to decrease bacteria on the skin. So, okay, even so, nice. So a little hand sanitizer. And then actually, this looks like it's a true handwritten note. So thank you from Cinda B, and then you have like the signature, and then on the back, it looks like a note from Cinda B. Thank you for supporting Cinda B. As always, our products are proudly made here in America. We hope that they will help you stay happy and healthy. There you go. Anyway, it's a nice little thought. A lovely little freebie with my order, and I thank them for that. So that's it for that, and we're off to enjoy the weekend. Take care. Bye for now.